Mr. Maths provides audiovisual explanations of maths for high school learners. All of the core concepts of the South African curriculum are addressed on this CD. This program fills the gap of not having a maths teacher at home who can explain the correct methods to be used by the learner. Learners can access the contents of this CD by either selecting their specific grade or by clicking on the appropriate learning outcome or title. They can also narrow down the search by selecting a specific keyword. The contents of the CD have been listed in terms of various categories as well. Let's have a look at how the material is explained to the learners. For the purpose of this demonstration video, we have not included a complete explanation, but only a part thereof. What we are being asked here to do effectively is to prove the sign rule, although it looks slightly different there than the standard form that we used to. But what we'll do first of all, start with an axis diagram. And then we construct the triangle on this diagram with angle A angle A being the one bigger than 90 degrees. So we'll have A there, let's call that B and C then. And then we can say that small A side, small B and small C. What we need to do now is to determine the coordinates of the three points of the triangle. Now, at A, we'll know it's naught and naught. That's pretty clear. B has got its x coordinates C distances away from the origin. So the coordinates of B would be C and naught. And now we just need to determine the coordinates of point C up there. Now, if we construct the triangle down to the bottom there, and we say the y coordinates of C would be how high it is up, and the x-coordinate would be how far it is from the y-axis, we will only be concentrating for the time being, for the sign rule anyway, on the y-coordinate of point C. Because looking at the triangle, um, let's maybe use a slightly darker line, just that triangle there, just working in that small triangle there, we also know that angle is equal to A, same as that angle, because it's 180 degrees minus, we can convert that small angle, the acute angle, also to A. Then in that triangle, we know that Y over B would be opposite angle. We will now interrupt this explanation to have a look at another example. We are required to work out the cube root of 1331 and the cube root of 1728 without a calculator, meaning we have to make use of the ladder method. So what we do, first of all, is we construct a long line and draw a few steps for our ladder. We don't know exactly how many of these steps we need, so we just put in a couple. Start first of all with 1331, so it's 1331. And now we need to find the very first prime number that can actually go into 1,331. Now, it won't be 2. We know that. Let's see if 3 doesn't work. It definitely will not be 5. Let's see if 7 works. It doesn't work for 7 either. 8 is not a prime number. 9 is not a prime number. 10 is not a prime number. 11 is a prime number. So, yes, 11 goes into the 121 terms times. 11 goes into 121 11 times, and 11 goes into itself once. Now, the, we were asked to get the cube root, which is a level 3 outside, so we need a group of...
What really makes Mr. Maths unique is the fact that learners can access individual one-on-one -on -one assistance from a maths expert via Skype on the internet. This service is for free for everyone who has purchased the CD.